Welcome to this KD Tips and Tricks screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you how you can imitate the look and feel of the Unity desktop with KDE Tools or the KDE Plasma Workspace desktop. So the first thing that we have to do is just make sure to have installed the Plasma add-ons. So for example for Debian or Neptune in this case uh, or Kubuntu, it's the Plasma widgets add-ons that you need to install this package. And I think it is called similar in OpenSUSE and Fedora and RPM based distros in general. And you have to need uh, the, the need to install this to do all the stuff that I will do right now. So first of all, let's just make this bottom panel that we normally have our left dock like panel with all the starters like in um, Unity. So first of all let's just move it to the left screen edge, make it a little bit wider. I think this wide should be okay. And then we will remove some of uh, the application launchers or some of the widgets in here. First of all I want to remove the system tray. So just remove the system tray here. Um, I would say just keep the task manager in here. Uh, the clock, we don't need the clock in here. We don't need the lock and lock out widget in here. Um, we don't need the pager in here. All we need is just our application launcher and some application quick launch items. Uh, but we could remove them also and I will do so. As well, I uh, will also remove the task manager because there's a um, little nifty widget that is a little bit better suited for this job. So just remove it and I will add this widget um, and it's called Icon Tasks. I can only task manager and if I put it in here you will see that it will show my terminal up in here and you have some options. Uh, Let's configure this Icon Task Manager. Uh, we have some options here. You can use different themes. We can use uh, different, yeah, spacing between items. Um, we can um, set the maximum rows in here. We can set different behaviors if we uh, like to. For example, a middle click action on one of those uh, items, just like in case in the terminal. You can see I got a preview in here. We'll open up a new instance of them. Um, we can have a group click action that presents uh, all the windows. In, in, in and uh, let me show you this. I think opening up a second terminal in here. And if I now click on this, you will see that it will give me a choice between those two different uh, terminal windows. And I can click on the one that I want to choose. I think this is the same behavior, just like in Unity. Uh, and you have uh, the doc manager itself. You can add some uh, plugins in here if you want to. Uh, there are some um, pre-compiled, pre-templates uh, that you can just enable for this matter. Um, then there's also the appearance tab. Let's go and choose the style and use uh, indicators and colored backgrounds. Colored backgrounds is the same, just like I think in Unity. And you see that it just looks a lot better, a lot yeah, smoother in this case. And yeah, the next thing that I want to do is, uh, we could give it a shortcut if you want to, but the next thing that I want to do is just add some launchers, some items in here. So let me quit this and uh, yeah, of course, uh, first of all, let's see how we can add launchers in here. First of all, if you have open applications, just like that for the terminal here, for example, I just right click on it and click or check show a launcher when not running. So this will give me a launcher even if I have all, even if all the terminal applications are closed, in, I will still have a launcher here, the console, the terminal that I want to. Um, the next thing I want to add is my home folder, my home directory. So add this as a launcher as well. Perhaps put it up in here. So you can move it just by dragging and dropping pretty pretty easy, pretty, pretty fine. And yeah, this works pretty good as you can see here. And the one thing that I think 
could be done a little bit better is here the uh, menu. I could do it just like the Unity dash somehow, but this looks not very good. So what I would do is just switch out this menu against uh, the Lancelot menu. So just let me delete this and add the Lancelot widget. Lance, uh, there we have it, Lancelot Launcher. Just let me add it here and then move it up. Move it up. Or move this down. Ah, this works a little bit easier. Uh, let me configure it a little bit. Um, first of all, I want uh, perhaps this logo in here looks perhaps a little nicer. I can um, show menu on click or show menus on hover. I'll leave it to menu on click and I can also uh, can activate the no click activation or the classic menu activation. This is the one that I want to so I have to click on everything to, to open up. I have some applications to show in here. I can uh, show uh, column numbers if I want to. I uh, can limit this to two columns if you want to. Um, I have some usage statistics if I don't want them. I can just disable them. I have some search tools. This uses the same plugins as KRunner, so you can enable some um, search plugins, just like for example controlling the audio player um, and some yeah as other stuff in here. Uh, YouTube search, for example, let me enable this, and now I can search. Go open it up. You can see. If I search video Neptune, Neptune Linux, uh, videos Neptune Linux, normally it should work. Perhaps I need to just reconfigure this, uh, but the search is normally working. I can make this a little bit bigger so that I have a full launch in here. I can place it somewhere else. I can have um, different configurations, but I think this configuration is pretty good. I have my favorites in here. I have my other applications in here, and I can just type uh, to search for new applications. So this is this. The next thing that I want to do is just add a new panel on top. So let me create a new panel. Add panel, and I don't want one of the, the one of the templates in here. I just want the in, uh, want an empty panel. So just create the empty panel, then go to the settings of the panel. Let me just um, align it to the right. And you can see it is perfectly aligned now, I think. And let me add some widgets, just like, for example, the clock. So I want a digital clock in here. I want a sistray in here. Sistray. How is it called? Sys. System tray. This is how it's called. Just let me add this also. There you have it. So I have a system tray, a clock. Let me just. Uh, aha. Let me just add a spacer because. You can see it's aligning to the left, and I want it to right, align to the right. So let me add a spacer. Now I can drag the spacer in here. This looks cool. Pretty, pretty nice, pretty cool. So, and one thing that I want to add, I think it's not in the Plasma add-ons yet, but you can download it. It's called App Menu for having a global menu. So just type in App. Uh, I think I have it somewhere installed in here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't have it installed. Uh, doesn't matter. There is the get new widgets, and then we can download new Plasma widgets, and here we can search for app menu and the app menu QML, but this is an, uh, something else. I'm searching for global app menu. Well, 
let me let me search for global. Or menu in this case. Must be somewhere in here. It's in normal um, plasma that you can use and th this will allow you to create a global menu in this case but I don't find it uh, you might find it uh, somewhere on the page itself so kde look dot org or kde apps dot org um, and let me just make this a little bit in size a little bit smaller in this case it looks I think a little bit better and then I can lock also my desktop and I have just in a few minutes built a pretty uh, damn good uh, Unity lookalike. So let me just add some more uh, launches in here, perhaps also Amarok. And yeah, Amarok is starting up. And yeah, I think this is pretty cool damn thing that you can do with um, that shows the power of the KDE desktop uh, which allows you to uh, create your Unity lookalike in uh, KDE pretty pretty easy, pretty pretty fine and uh, I think uh, the menu will also work somehow uh, the global menu if, if, if you have the patch installed, the, the, the little plus mod installed which allows you to use uh, global menu items so this is everything for these screencasts, I hope you enjoyed this and yeah thanks for watching so just a short extra, I found the uh, menu, <laughs> I have to search uh, for a menu simply and there's the file uh, menu or window menu bar and I can drag it over here and this allows you now to see the, the global menu basically. So if I open up the file manager you can see that I have now all the file manager items in here like settings, like help. Uh, tools so I can open the terminal for example directly without any problem uh, the, simple, uh, the same works for the bash as you can see here there's no menu bar the menu bar is now in, uh, in the top so it works pretty nice pretty cool so a little extra here on, on this uh, so I found <laughs> the uh, plasma widget so it's called window menu bar and with this you can just enable global menu um, menuing system in, in KDE. So thanks for watching.